we are excited uh, to hear from some of our speakers uh, today. Um, we'll be able to hear from a variety of them. I'll introduce them as they come up. Um, but um, first of all, we'd like to hear right now from Brian Davis, who is the air, um, he's the director of communications for Allegiant Air. So Brian, help us out, make a big announcement for us. Thank you so much. It is a, uh, it is a pleasure to be here today. Uh, I was reminiscing this morning as, as I made my way here. Um, it was about five years ago that uh, I was making my first trips down to this area. I remember John Barry came over and uh, picked me up at the airport to drive me around and show me the region and, and begin to have conversations about commercial service at the Phoenix Mesa Airport. And we started having those conversations. And by that fall, we had reached an agreement to, to have a little experiment and to see what would happen. And what started out as a couple flights, it seems like the past five years, every few months I'm on a plane to come back because we have another milestone to celebrate. And uh, it has been an exciting journey for us. And uh, you know, the word partnership, I think, gets overused a lot, but is uh, completely appropriate in the context of our serv serv air service to the Phoenix Mesa Airport. And that uh, you know, we, we have a unique business model. Most airlines are thinking about business travelers, because business travelers are paying with a corporate credit card. And when you're spending someone else's money, you tend to be willing to spend a little bit more of it. And Allegiant came along and said, you know, we want to go after people who are traveling for vacation, people who are going to visit their family, people who are looking for a golf vacation. And when you're traveling for vacation, you're spending your own money. And so you're watching a little closely. And so we sat down with the airport and said, if we're going to make this work, um, we both need to be very financially responsible. And um, I can't think of a better example. We have almost 90 airports in our network now. And uh, we brag about this relationship everywhere we go. Um, as the Phoenix Mesa Airport, and I have to you know, mention Lynn Cousy, who's not here, and Casey Denny, who have uh, done such an extraordinary job of building a facility that meets the needs of the air service, but doing it in a way that's financially responsible and allows us to do what we do best, allows us to take those savings and extend them to customers with great, great deals. And so uh, today, it's kind of, at this point, I think is the worst kept secret in Arizona, but uh, <laughs> I have the distinction of being here to formally announce that uh, Allegiant will be extending those same great fares now with nonstop service from Phoenix Mesa to Honolulu, Hawaii. So those flights will begin in February of 2013. They are, uh, you can book them now. I was checking on my phone on the drive over here to make sure they're alive. Um, fares for $199, which uh, is a steal. That's taxes and fees and everything included. And uh, so that will start in February. And uh, the other thing that we want to make sure that people know about us is uh, just like people know that we have great deals on airfares, that's not all that we do. But uh, uh, we, we have 47 hotel partners on the island of Oahu that we are selling today as well as rental cars. And our commitment is that uh, you'll be able to get not just the best airfare with us, but the best vacation um, and the most affordable vacation from Allegiant. And uh, we're excited to be able to bring that to the community here. And uh, thanks again for all those who have partnered with us. We've got uh, some representatives from the five member communities who, again, can't thank you enough for all of your support. Um, our service doesn't, the success of our service doesn't happen just because of us. It happens because of great partners. And thank you all. Thanks, Brian. This is really <coughs> a great day uh, for the airport and really for this region uh, as we continue to add more services um, through the airport. So we have a variety of speakers uh, to hear, we'd like to hear from today. Our first, uh, we'll hear from uh, Mesa Vice Mayor Scott Summers, who also represents District 6, in which the airport resides. We'll also, we'd like to hear from Mayor Gail Barney, who is representing the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport Authority um, as the board secretary. And also uh, representing the airport authority, we'll we'd like to hear from Mayor uh, John Lewis from the town of Gilbert. And then at the conclusion, we'd like to hear from the Mesa Mayor, Scott Smith. So we'll go in that order. Mr. Vice Mayor. Right. I'll be the first one to say it. Aloha! Aloha! That's the good part of, about going first, because I bet it was every, everybody else's speeches, right? So I just blew it for everybody. This is another great announcement for Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, though I do have one complaint uh, for Allegiant. I took my wife to Hawaii and my family last year, 
It would have saved me a lot of money if you had done it last year, but uh, since my birthday's in March, guess where I think I'm heading uh, in just a few months. So this is another exciting announcement. It's, it's unbelievable, Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, the amount of growth we've had over the last just a few years from no airlines to three airlines. Uh, Allegiant led the way at Gateway, uh, catering to, to travel, and their thought originally was we're going to be bringing people in from the cold weather into the warm weather. And little did they realize that they would get just as many people interested in traveling out. And so here we are today celebrating another great destination for Arizona residents when they want to go off on vacation. They're not doing a staycation, the opportunity to go to a world destination in Hawaii. So mahalo, thank you to Allegiant Airline for, for seeing our vision and trusting in that vision and making the Phoenix Mates a great way, uh, gateway airport, the great airport that it's really turning out to be. Thank you. I wanna thank Allegiant for this announcement also. It comes as a I don't want to say a surprise because the destinations that are coming to us from Allegiant haven't been surprises. They've been very, very helpful, very beneficial to the community. And this is no exception. I think this is a fantastic happening for the East Valley. You know, we look at, we have the opportunity to go to Hawaii. I just look at it the other way. Everybody that's been in Hawaii has the opportunity to come to Mesa. And, and I'm looking forward to, to that. Uh, I've been to Hawaii, my wife and I enjoyed it very much, and like Mr. Summers, I wished it would have been cheaper. And so now we may have the opportunity to go back because it will be quite a bit more, more inexpensive and we won't be spending the money on the, on the flight. We can have more fun when we get to the, get to the islands and spend our money in a, in a different way. Uh, there are few places on the world and the earth that is, is more beautiful, more romantic, more a destination that people have on their bucket list than, than Hawaii. And hopefully the opposite will be true now that uh, they'll look and, and, and see Mesa on that itinerary and, and come to the East Valley and, and support and help the East Valley grow. And I salute Allegiant Airlines for this opportunity and thank you. Brian, you are correct, the best kept secret. Only a couple of people find out about it. But it put me in a very awkward spot uh, with my wife yesterday, uh, we were together and someone came up and with great excitement said, did you hear the news, isn't that great, that from Gateway you can get to Honolulu? The look at that point on my wife's face was not positive. <laughs> but as I turned to her and said, you know that question, what makes the world go round? Something that we have so little of love, and not just love, sweet love. And so Brian, I, this morning, discovered that there was some forgiveness. This uh, shirt happened to be placed in a very strategic spot where I could see it. A note of, in addition to Oahu, what about Maui? Another uh, sweet note of how long are we going to stay for? <laughs> and then of course, and you partially answered it, but I need an answer and if you don't know, I'll go out to the website and find out. You said February. I am supposed to report back the date. What date is this open? February, 8th. February the 8th. So on behalf of the town of Gilbert, and of course East Valley in Arizona, we thank Allegiant for making the world with this announcement just a little bit better and adding for us love, sweet love. <laughs> and now husbands and fathers and the males in this room, we know what we need to do. There's a website and February 8th is the date and Brian and Allegiant Airlines, thank you. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. I think I'm ill. <laughs> By the way, Mayor Lewis and Mayor Barney, uh, you want to make sure you take those lays off before you go to the funeral after this? 
they're dressed in suits, you see. And I was told specifically, if I have to exchange, explain the joke, then it's, I've lost you a long time ago. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, hey, another little, uh, little bit uh, of, of not trivia, because it's not trivial, but important information that you may want to know. We today, in conjunction with Allegiant Airlines, or Allegiant Airlines in conjunction with us, are giving uh, the uh, citizens of Arizona, uh, the Phoenix region, and certainly the East Valley, the gift of Hawaii. Uh, but the one thing we're giving to Hawaii is also a gift, and this is, this is very appropriate. Because today, August 21st, 1959, Hawaii was admitted to the Union. So this is their birthday. So we thought we'd have this nice little get-together to, to celebrate Hawaii's birthday by giving them Mesa. <laughs> and the other parts, okay? You know, someone asked me, well, what does this mean? Uh, you know, and I know I, Brian's getting almost tired of announcing new destinations. And, and I'll tell you, this is different for us than just a new city. Uh, we're excited to be going, whatever city uh, is, is announced that uh, you can travel to directly from Gateway Airport, we're excited about. But there are certain announcements that take on a, a, a life of their own almost. And we've had a few of those milestones over the last three or four years. And, and, and this uh, last two or three weeks, we've had two incredible milestones. Uh, Brian talked about five years ago when the, this, the, the process began. To think that this year we'll pull about a million and a half people through those terminals at Gateway is incredible. To think that between all the routes and everything, you can easily get to well over 100 cities, either directly or with one stop at a Gateway airport is incredible. Uh, something that just happened a few weeks ago. And now to think that you can actually travel to such a destination, such as Honolulu, Hawaii, directly. We hope it's nonstop. Uh, <laughs> but directly from Gateway Airport is, is an incredible milestone. It's, it's a milestone not only for what it represents to travelers, but it's a milestone for the airport. Um, this airport started as a dream of, of people long before I came into office about 20 years ago when Williams Air Force Base shut down. And I remember for many years, there was a nice little terminal that sat empty. And there was a lot of people who, uh, who in many ways joked and, and mocked that terminal and really, uh, really took a, the, the, the visionaries took a beating for building this terminal that no passengers would ever, ever go through. Well, it took a while and the completion of a freeway uh, to make this dream a reality. But uh, for those leaders who uh, preceded me and Mayor Lewis and Mayor Barney, thank you for sticking it out. Thank you for hanging in there because the, their persistence, their vision made this possible. And now when we look at vision, uh, we see things that are not only possible, but we know that they will happen. We look at an expansion even further. We look at Gateway really maturing and becoming not only a, as we said, a novelty, but a true reliever airport. And reliever airports are great because what they do is they add to a community in more ways than just travel options. They add to the economy of a community. When I talk a community, I'm talking about not only Mesa, not only Gilbert, not only Queen Creek, not only the East Valley, but if, as we look at who comes to Gateway Airport, business, individual, they come literally from all over the state of Arizona. Our market is not just the East Valley, as some people may think. We have a lot of people who drive right past Sky Harbor because of the options that are offered. And most of these people would not be flying. They come from Tucson. They come from Eastern Arizona. They come from Northern Arizona because Gateway offers an option. And as Brian explained to it, uh, explained what those options are, there's a lot of flights that go every day to, to, to Hawaii, Honolulu, uh, Kauai, uh, Maui, uh, the Big Island but there's only one that offers that special option, which is about half the price of the others, and that's gonna open up a whole new world of traffic, and that's what Gateway's about. It's about creating new opportunities. It's about creating new options, and when we have new options and new opportunities, we have great growth, and not only does the airport grow, but the community grows. So thank you, Allegiant, for the faith you have placed in us in this valley. And uh, thank you to all of, the, uh, uh, all of the people who have made Gateway Airport a success. Uh, it's always a, a point of pride with me when I run into somebody and they said, hey, I just flew out of Gateway for the first time last week. My gosh, what a beautiful facility, and it was a great experience. And I hear that more and more often now. 
So this is a big day for a lot of reasons, and uh, I'm not going to try any of the hokey uh, Hawaiian words because I butcher English, and I would do a horrible with uh, with uh, with Hawaiian. But uh, thank you for joining us for the celebration. Happy birthday, Hawaii. We are more than happy to give you this gift of a direct connection to Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. Well, we want to thank everyone for attending uh, today. We've uh, really, we're very excited about this opportunity, so we encourage everybody to go get online and uh, for the men to book your travel and take your sweetheart. As Rock Arnett says, this is, we live in paradise, so it's a great opportunity to connect uh, the two paradises. So again, thank you everyone for attending.